be shortened. I read that again. I don't know how, I know you have read it before, but I don't know how you have interpreted it. Except those days should be shortened. There should be no flesh be saved. But for the Lord's sake, those days shall be shortened. I declare evil days shall be shortened. I announce evil days shall be terminated. Evil days shall be terminated. In the name of Jesus. What is the essence of the two years visa in your hand? You prayed for one year before you got the ticket. Now you have bought the ticket. You could not travel and use the visa. If coronavirus does not stop this month, do you know that it means out of the 12 months you think you want to go and work for money in the U.S.? It has reduced. The Bible says, except those days be shortened, no flesh will survive it. It means whether coronavirus or something, there are things that if they continue, all of us, do you understand what I'm saying? So if you are declaring, I shall not die but live, and declare the words of the Lord, the word of God is saying, that prayer can only work if what? Those days are shortened. That's a deep revelation. Unless those days are shortened, many promises of God will not come to pass. Unless evil days are shortened. They said there is no coronavirus in Nigeria and we are celebrating. Now there are six cases. If the days of corona is not shortened, there will be 30 cases. From there to 50 cases. From there to 1 million cases. From there to 10,000 deaths. If the days of terrorism is not shortened, 5,000 people will die through Fulani Hartsman. If they are not shortened, it will increase to 10,000. It will increase to 20,000. See, today they have not told us what caused the explosion. What about if it's somebody that throw an explosive there? If the days of those evil people are not shortened, they will throw more. And it's possible that they will do it so much that there will be no Lagos. It is not me that said it. It is, it is the word of Jesus said it is going to if it is not stopped, no flesh in, in, in Italy. Is it Italy or Spain? Two days ago they were burying people every 30 30 minutes. In a day, they buried 384. If those days are not shortened, do you think within one year they will not bury everybody in that country? I want you to be angry in your spirit. There are some things that we must terminate so that our destiny can be fulfilled. Many of us, our brothers, our sisters, our friends, our children are abroad. Unless those days are shortened, it will reach them. And Jesus did not say, unless those days are shortened, the unbelievers will all perish. He didn't say, except those days should be shortened. Gentiles may not be saved. He said, no flesh, whether born again or no born again. So if you want to fulfill your destiny tonight, we must shorten the evil days. Because Jesus said, this thing you are saying is the beginning of sorrow. When sorrow becomes too much, it leads to death. It leads to death. Somebody have five children. One die, second die, four die, fifth die. What will kill the woman? Sorrow. I declare you will not live in sorrow. Everyone that is connecting to me, I declare termination to sorrow in your life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus is saying, this beginning of sorrow, stop it. This beginning of sorrow, stop it there. Terrorism, stop it there. Boko Haram, stop it there. Ebola, stop it there. How are we going to stop it there? Let's read it again. Marike de Brobo Sotaya Baba. He says, But for the elect's sake, those days.
days shall be shortened. Can we say that again? But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. It means that if you are born again and your God is elect, your existence here is relevant for the shortening, for the termination of sorrow. I am speaking deep word of God now. The elect that are on earth, our existence has power more than any antivirus, more than any immunity, not only to stop Ebola or to stop coronavirus, but to stop anything called sorrow. You are more important than you think. You are more relevant than you think. You are so important than you think. You are important in the agenda of God to make the evil stop. Abraham understood this. When God said, I want to go and destroy Sodom, he says, God, if you see 50 righteous people, he didn't say, those 50 righteous people, won't you protect them out of Sodom? Because the existence of the righteous is like the existence of the sun that shines all over the heart. Your existence as a believer, your stand, your righteous stand with God matters to make evil stop in your generation. That is why our generation must praise the Lord. So that even if some people are committing sins and then the end time words are coming, prophecies are coming to pass. The Bible said for the elect's sake, God is going to consider you. God is going to consider your holiness. God is going to consider your service. And he will not consider it so that it doesn't get to you. He says because of you, that evil will be terminated. It will be shortened. If Ebola is supposed to stay for three years because of the believers, because if Ebola ravaged, half of believers will also die. Because we are flesh and blood. But if the elect can remind God that Lord I am still here. Father we are still here. Remember your purpose from Allah. All the children you have given me. You said they are for signs and wonders. If coronavirus should take them away, the purpose of God will not come to pass. Father shorten the days of corona. Shorten the days of insecurity. Shorten the days of terrorism. Shorten the days of recession. Shorten the days of failure. Shorten the days of Boko Haram, shutting the days of freedom and yes, shutting the days of darkness and sorrow in the name of Jesus. You better use your position well. God is waiting for the lesser to cry out. On, uh, we should stop this selfish prayer so that the purpose of God for our life can be fulfilled. God has given me an international ministry. God has given me the promise to go all over the world. If Corona is not stopped, many visa will expire in my hand that I will not fulfill the purpose of God. Unless the days are shortened. If your helper is supposed to come and favor you from Germany, and the easier plane is blocked there, unless the days are shortened, you will stay long ago. Are you hungry tonight? God said, I, I, the stoppage will not come because of scientific breakthrough. The stoppage will not come because of, of CCTV camera. It will not stop because of donations to, 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 to governments. They said Dangote immediately gave 200 million to government. Has he stopped it? God said, I am the one that can stop it. And I will do it for whose sake? For the elect's sake. God is waiting for the elect. But is the elect self? Is it, have you been taught not to be selfish in your prayers? Have you been taught to be an intercessor for your generation? Have you been taught to stand in the gap for the generation? Your children are going to school. You are only concerned that he comes back home. What about the 500 other children that are there so their parents can cry? <laughs> he said, for the less sake, for the less sake, we have to stop the sorrow. He said, this is the beginning of our generation have seen the highest uh, scientific breakthrough. We have also seen evil. Our great grandfathers never saw computer. They never saw Android phone. They never saw iPhone. They never saw camera. They never, but they never saw cancer. 
they never needed burglary proof to sleep. They never suffered hunger. They never saw cancer. They never saw Ebola. So what is the essence that we are the Y2K generation and our life is unsafe? God is waiting for elects. God is waiting for their voice. Because if the elect don't cry, God will do nothing. We must stop the sorrow. We must stop the sorrow. God said the, the generation of, of Jacob we spent 400 days. Yes. But they did not complain. So they stayed for 130 years. After, do you know within that 30 years how many people died? How many pregnant people were carrying load and they fainted there and they died? Because nobody was interceding. Because nobody was praying. Then after 30 years, the Lord must have raised some intercessors and God said, I could hear the groaning of my people. Your prayers, we send the deliverer. I announce our prayer tonight, we send the deliverer. Our prayers, we send the deliverers. In the name of Jesus. For 40 years, Moses was wandering in the wilderness, useless, no story, because nobody was interceding. There is a solution to what's problem. Nobody was praying to bring it out. So God was looking. Okay, when, when you finish your cathedral, what is the essence of your one million sitting cathedral that you built that is as big as a city? One bomb will scatter it. One bomb will scatter it. How many churches have anti-bomb, anti-bomb power surrounding their church? So, by the time you are building your multi-story cathedral, your towers and cities that you said you are building, have you considered the safety of your generation? I pray for everyone that is here, and I'm prophesying because you are in this meeting, you will fulfill purpose. Because you are here, you will fulfill the purpose of God. There are four guys, Daniel and his friend, the Bible said they were captive of Babylon. They, they were captive. They were, they were victims of the evil. But the Bible said they separated themselves for the Lord in that generation. They were praying. They were praying. They were fasting. Not for personal victory. For their nation. Their Lord. Have mercy upon our land. The Bible says even see Daniel was in gray year. He was still fasting. When you say fast, Daniel fasted for 21 days and then the prince of Persia, was he praying for his wife? Was he praying for his children? Was praying for his generation? When, you, when your generation matters to you, God will make you to matter in your generation. When your generation matters to you, God will make, what is greatness? Greatness is being important and being relevant for your generation. Have you seen anybody that is great that does not make him part? It, it doesn't correlate. When you matter before God for your generation, God will make you to matter in his plan for that generation. I declare and I mark everyone in this meeting that you will be builders of, and pillars in this generation. You will be relevant in this generation. You will be relevant in this generation. In the name of Jesus.